Hi folks, worn out, it's about half past six, something like that, um, in the evening, absolutely worn out today, just thought I'd uh, just do a quick video, I'm at York Railway Station, um, this morning I set off at six o'clock, so that was over 12 hours ago, um, with a mission to go and pick a X300 Jaguar 3.2 Executive up um, from Bristol. Um, the gentleman phoned me asking me last week if I'd like to buy it. Um, he described it to me as absolutely pristine. I asked him all the usual questions. Does it need an headline or has it got any dings, dongs, scuffs, problems, issues with it? Um, he said, no, it's pristine. I watch your videos on your YouTube channel. It's as nice, if not nicer than uh, the cars that you sell. And of course, all our uh, regular followers will uh, obviously well understand that our cars, when I've prepared them, um, selected and prepared them, are absolutely out of the box pristine. Now, that is what I call pristine or concourse or immaculate or whatever you want to call it. Um, and generally, when you look at other people's cars, you've got to work back from that. Now, this car is like a nearly a 30-year-old car that I've been to see today. I didn't expect it to be as mint as mine, but I didn't expect it to have as many issues as it did. And the guy blatantly deceived me to get there, lied to me on the telephone. Um, and it yeah, hadn't made for a very, very good day. So when you see one of my cars for sale, they are painstakingly um, selected. And we go all over the country trying to select these cars. And it's, it's difficult because we have a lot of wasted journeys. We have a lot of people who lie to us um, on descriptions of cars, unfortunately. And I'm being straight and being frank because that's what it is. They, they just lie. Um, and then when you get there, they always say, well, I didn't see that and I didn't see this, but I'm in North Yorkshire. How am I likely to see it? When you've asked them to go around panel by panel and they've told you that the car's absolutely mint. Anyway, the things I found on this car today were engine oil leaks, engine rattling, um, rotten sunroof, this car had done 30,000 miles, bearing in mind. Um, chrome trims, scraper mouldings, literally bent and hanging off the car. Um, boot switches intermittently working to release the uh, boot lid. Um, basically, it wanted both full sides painting, so doors, sills, um, both front and rear bumpers painting because of damage, a bonnet painting, a full roof paint, well, basically everything painting apart from the boot lid. And it was British Racing Green, and there was damage, there was dents, gouges, scuffs, scratches, and even somebody who is half blind, um, well, Stevie Wonder could feel his well way around it and, 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 and feel the damage on the car. You don't need to see it, you can just feel it. Um, anyway, this guy decided that he wasn't going to tell me the truth cost me 150 quid to get down there on a rail ticket it's cost me 150 quid to come back i've been out 12 hours i've not been able to get on with the restorations um i've already got to do um i didn't even phone this guy up he phoned me um i never knew that this car existed this car done 30,000 miles um whoever tested it wants striking off the bush is hanging out of it and ball joints and it's only just been tested no advisories wheels wanted refurbishing every one of them had paint blistering off looked like somebody had canned them in with an aerosol now he sent me some pictures but the guy was an older guy and the pictures he sent me were not good bad light bad focus blurred so i only had as an elderly gentleman who I thought was old school, not like modern people, potentially, generally speaking, would tell you the truth and be honest. And I just presume that that's how they were brought up like me. Um, but obviously not. Now, when I was there to save coming back on the train, I did bid him 
I thought, well, it'll come in handy as a breaker or it'll come in handy as a potential loan car for the garage after it was done up or eventually I could fully restore the car but unfortunately freight liner going by so excuse the noise but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be um, anyway I just wanted to bring you this little video preferably without the noise in the background but anyway um, I wanted to bring this little video for you so you could actually see this job is not easy it's not easy at all um, trying to find cars like I sell is I think it's the hardest job in the world especially try and get an honest answer and an honest um, description from a British person because I do go all over the British Isles selecting the best cars I possibly can this ain't the first wasted journey I've had and it won't be the last um, if you are planning to film me with a car that you want to sell make sure you describe it properly because I was not best pleased today talk to you again soon thanks for watching